Good morning and uh, really happy to be here today, but I've got way too much to tell you to squeeze in 10 minutes, so I would welcome your participation in the Q&A session. Cautionary statements, and I'm not going to read them. Okay, so as a company, we're a bit different and we do things differently. But one of the elements to note is that management and the board owns 36% of this company. Pretty much unheard of in the uh, gold mining space. Our business strategy includes three stages. And the phase one was the execution of our uh, construction, commissioning, and ramp up at the Tukoi mine, which is the first one that uh, we just put in production. We had our first gold pour in October 2017. And we have provided the market guidance of 82,000 to 90,000 ounces at an average uh, low all-in sustaining cost at between 675 and 735 Canadian. So very low all-in sustaining cost. Our phase two was really to uh, take two out of the other deposits that we own and integrate them in a life of mine plan. And that involved doing all the metallurgical work and also the engineering work in producing a study. The results of the study were just recently published in January, and the full technical report will be filed on CEDA in the next couple of weeks. With those two other deposits integrated in our Life of Mind production profile, we will be reaching production of uh, more than 200,000 ounces per year, once again at very low cash costs and low all-in sustaining costs. And the phase three is really about addressing this question, where is the growth going to come from? So the growth is really about uh, finalizing our resource expansion drilling at those two deposits that we have, where we have just uh, disclosed mineral reserves and integrated in our life of mine plan, and also go back to the regional area and do systematic drilling. So here's our production profile. This was just published recently. Uh, as you can see, by 2021, we would be uh, ramping up towards 200,000 ounces to reach maximum 250,000 ounces in 2023, and the arrows, the yellow arrows you see at the back end there, that's really the question about how we are going to backfill that production profile. And this is again related to the resource expansion I just mentioned, and also the regional program. Once again, uh, production profile, uh, 200,000 ounces at, again, a very, very competitive all-in sustaining cost of, this time I've quoted them in US dollar, 555 per ounce. So we are in Nova Scotia, and the very first deposits in Nova Scotia were discovered in the 1860s. But everybody in the past had gone uh, and done underground mining uh, at very, very high cost and were not very successful. So the concept that Atlantic changed is that there are some great open pit potential in Nova Scotia. Uh, lower grade, not chasing higher grade material underground. and very, very sizable mining width of 50 up to 100 meter that can easily be mined by open pit at very low strip ratio. So best in class margin and cash flow generation. 
why do we have such all -in uh, low all-in sustaining costs? Well, it's really the convergence of many factors. It's not a single factor such as very high grade. This is not the case, multiple factor. First one, very low strip ratio, around uh, 2.1 to 1, but this year even lower at 0.8 to 1. Location, very simple, no logistical nightmare. We are 45 minutes from Halifax International Airport. No camp, no fly-in, no fly-out, no logistics uh, that make life complicated. I always joke that all I've got at the mine is actually two parking lots for my employees. That's it. Also, for an open pit in Canada, 1.4 to 1.5 grams per ton is medium grade and very good grade. And we have a small open pit we are operating right now. And just to give you a bit of context, we are operating that pit with five trucks. That said, we are mining about 20 to 22,000 tons per day. So here's a comparison with our peers for total cash costs. We're in blue. And also down below, our all-in sustaining costs. Uh, both are in US dollar. Here's where we rank in the curve of all producers. And as you can see, that's a bit of a challenge in the case we would want to acquire something. As you can imagine, <laughs> Gwen is laughing. <laughs> As you can imagine, it would be very difficult to reproduce the uh, very attractive cost base we have. And also, it would be very difficult not to increase the political risk profile for the company. So not a, difficult, not a too uh, difficult position to be in. Uh, a couple uh, comments on the existing infrastructure, the existing mine. Once again, it was built on schedule and on budget. The mill is operating at full design uh, nameplate capacity. Uh, production guidance was issued early January. And we are looking at that phase two uh, expansion project to increase production substantially. And yes, we are going to announce commer commercial production in the first quarter. Here's a, an overview of the plant site. Uh, you see uh, top right of the picture, the two koi pit, which is the very first one we're mining. To the left is our tailings, and then uh, just a bird's eye view of our plant, crushing facility, truck shop, admin building, and so on. Very uh, flat terrain, very easy uh, to uh, work with in terms of construction. So the other projects we are planning on mining are within trucking distance to the existing processing facility. So between the first one, which is called Tukoi, to uh, all the way up to the end of the page, Cochrane Hill, it's about an 80 kilometer distance. And you can see the location of Beaver Dam and 15 Mile Stream as well. So Beaver Dam is about 20 kilometers from Tukoi, just to give you an idea. So our development scheme involves producing concentrate at the other locations and bringing that back to Tukoi to finish the processing and produce a gold dory. Pre-concentration is nothing new in the business. Even large companies now have plans to do that in Canada. The phase three expansion is key for us. Uh, remember, with the phase two, we have produced that uh, study that gets us to produce 200 to, in some years, 250,000 ounces. 
And then with the phase three, it's really about the expansion of the existing resources and also regional program that will start mid-March. And phase three expansion, uh, uh oh key thing, uh, drill program at 15 mile stream, uh, the only resource that was included in the existing study is wet salt line in red. Since then, we have drilled the Hudson and Plenty zones. We have been publishing drill results. And at the time of the preparation of the uh, report for the study, there was still 250,000 ounces of inferred material that we have now drilled off. Same comment applies to Cochrane Hill. And uh, just you know, wanted to mention that uh, the usual suspects do cover us, and there's a quite extensive coverage of the company. Thank you. <laughs>